my gosh, the holidays are just still going. We got New Year's right around the corner. It really is the time where you can get away with all the glitter and metallics and sparkle and just celebrate that glamorous self-expression. I'm gonna style three very different looks. And I just think it's a fun time of year to experiment with your style because it is the first moment that you're entering into a new year. So why not feel your most fabulous, right? Oh, and by the way, this outfit I'm wearing I think would be totally cute on New Year's too. It is a cozy sweater so I can just dance the night away. A nice leather skirt, knee-high socks to keep my legs warm, and then of course bringing in the sparkle with the shoes and a fabulous statement necklace. This is just a little extra tidbit, but I will get more in depth in the three outfits behind me. Let's go. Okay, so for this first look, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go bohemian. Bohemian is always nicely played up with a long dress. Look at how gorgeous this is. Muted bluey gray color. And I'm actually going to wear this dress backwards. So this is actually the front, but I'm not super comfortable over long periods of time and New Year's is a long night to have a really low cut top. These things are saggy and I just like to keep them under wraps. I'm gonna wear back Backwards, which is actually a great option. You can wear a lot of dresses backwards and it gives you a different neckline. Maxi dresses on short girls can be a little tough because they're super long, but rather than hemming it, you guessed it, big shoes. Some big metallic shoes because it is New Year's and even though we're muted and flowy and bohemian with the dress, we gotta get a pop of the metallic. If you are somewhere where it's cold, you can pair a jacket with this look. So I would do just as massive as the dress. A faux fur jacket that has this shaggy collar. When it's paired with the maxi dress, it gives it a very 70s silhouette. Think almost famous, right? Kate Hudson in that movie always wore that shaggy coat. Looked so cute. So I need a clutch to pair with this look. I will pick this beautiful chiffon ruffly rosette clutch. And you know what? I made it for the book, a hot glue gun mess. So it's a Mr. Kate original. Now, hair makeup. So for this bohemian New Year's look, I wanna keep my hair kind of the messy waves that it already is, cause that's very free and flowy, but I wanna add some length. So I'm gonna do a technique that I actually wrote about in a hot glue gun mess, and that is applying clip-in extensions. These I have had for a while, they're natural hair. They match my color really well, which is ideal and it's just gonna add some length and really give me that flowy fairy hair. Now the next trick is blending them in with your natural hair which really just requires a wand curler curling pieces of the extension paired with pieces of your own hair. Create curls that start from your head and end with the fake hair. I think what I will do is probably give myself a slight side part. Changes up the direction of my hair and then I think I might add a little small smaller braid and secure it with a little clear elastic. My trick for making it messy, holding on to one of the three pieces and then pushing up, which just gives it that kind of undone look. I'm gonna keep my makeup minimal, kind of what it is now, but I'm gonna add a touch more of metallic on my eyes. So I'm going to use this Naked 2 palette. I'm going to use this bronzy color here. It's called YDK. And I'm going to use the makeup brush that it actually comes with, but first I'm going to wet the brush, which makes the pigment just that much more intense. This darker metallic color just gives them a more dramatic look because this is a nighttime makeup look. I just want to add one more accessory element which is white beauty marks because my back and shoulders are kind of showing in this dress that I'm going to be putting on. Just apply those with water, cut out the designs you want and gotta get dressed.
Okay, second look. I've done bohemian. Now I'm going to do sleek, sophisticated. Think Kim Kardashian. If you want to be Kim Kardashian this next year, this looks for you. But seriously, I'm going to start with a cocktail dress in. Oh, leopard. A loud, wonderful print. This dress is form fitting in the waist, hug in all the right places. If you want to wear a jacket with this, I would style it with probably a sleek trench coat to keep it nice and sleek. But I live in California, so I'm not going to wear a jacket with this look. I do need shoes though. So let's grab these amazing nude shoes, right? Which is usually a neutral. What makes these party New Year's appropriate is the fringe covered in rhinestones. Oh, I love these shoes. And let's keep it sleek and chic and neutral with the clutch. This is an envelope clutch and you know what's the bonus? It's a DIY. We made it here at Mr. Kate HQ so you can get the DIY for this clutch on MrKate.com. But look how cute it looks with the nude shoes. It's keeping it sleek and sophisticated which is what this look is all about and very important hair and makeup. All right, so for the second look with my Kim Kardashian inspired, I wanna do one of her signature looks. Something that I see Kim K doing a lot is the low, sleek center part pulled back, which is a look that I personally never wear. New Year's experiment, why not? I mean, how appropriate is this, guys? Kardashian beauty. This is the black seed dry oil, which will just tone down the frizz. Hopefully give me a nice smooth texture. I'm gonna use an elastic to pull the bulk of my hair into a low ponytail. And I'm letting my hair cover the tops of my ears, leaving just the bottoms of my ears peeking out. And I wanna conceal this black hair elastic, so I'm going to twist my hair into a bun and fasten the bun to my head using bobby pins. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so not myself right now with this hair. What on earth? See, I can't act like that with this hair, right? I have to be like all posture. I am going to do a brown lipstick. Actually, this is kind of more of a Kylie lipstick color, I think. This is the Lime Crime Velveteen. It's basically a lip stain, but it comes out matte in the color of Salem. <music> Certainly making a statement this New Year's. I think I'm ready to go. I just have to put my clothes on, darling. Classy, sophisticated. Now let's go eclectic, layered, because baby, it's cold outside. Speaking of a celebration, you wanna see something that is just, oh, I mean, I can barely speak because I'm so in love with these shoes. Look at them, guys. If these aren't a party, I don't know what is. They're little Mary Janes, very vintage inspired. Come New Year's, I just wanna cover my entire body in glitter, but I have to restrain myself. So to get an eclectic look with these, I'm gonna pair some different styles together. Nothing says party like a flared skirt. It's got polka dots, it's got ruffles on it, and you can see that these are from the same style family. And now I'm gonna go for the eclectic. Slouchy sweater for the top. Brings it down a bit, so rather than it being just all vintage cutesy with the tool and the glitter. I have something a little worn in and cozy looking. Jacket! Look how cute, I love it. It's military inspired. You can see with the like buttons and epaulets and zippers and it brings in a nice muted color that complements the muted color of the plum. To keep my legs warm on the bottom, these are some super dark navy tights. So I've been doing clutches with the other look so I like that I have a purse with a shoulder strap, some fringe. Let's also do a fun chain necklace. This kind of complements the military-esque jacket with the heavy chain, and it's silver to match the shoes. Let's go over to hair and makeup. I am going to keep my hair 
basically as is. I don't want to get too complicated with my hair because there's a lot going on in the outfit. Winter time, you can get away with some dark lip color. So I'm gonna tap into the lime crime. This one is a berry color and it's called Wicked. I'm loving this lip color. It's different than the brown. It's gonna go nicely with the plum and the green. And I want to bring in some more metallics because I have those metallic shoes, obviously, that are such a party. In order to do that, I'm going to wear some confetti beauty marks, which are basically pieces of confetti that will just stick to your skin. I am going to sprinkle these around the perimeter of my face, a little on my cheeks. Do that with some water and get my clothes on. I love all those, they're all so different. I hope you guys got inspired to experiment with your style this new year because I really think if you're normally drawn to certain styles, why not try a different one? Because it's the new year and you should experiment. This is the year of why not, guys. Celebrate yourself, have fun with style because that's really what it should be, fun. Comment, please, because I'd love to hear from you. Oh my gosh, I'll see you next year. Subscribe to the channel so you know when we have more fun videos coming at you. Love you, bye. Mr. Kate! So I'm gonna put this on and then take it outdoors.